How to cheese properly in Clash Royale team battles. Step one. First, you have to create the deck. You make sure to use plenty of splash damaging troops or splash them damage acceptable troops. So you bait out their arrows, log zap. Your main push will be Golem Barrel, Mirror, and Rage. Uh, your partner will have the clone instead of the rage. Step two is to find your partner. So just go in and wait for your partner to join. If you can find him. Step 3. Once you find your partner and have started the game, use all the earlier bait depths to bait out the arrows, like so, or to bait out anything that does splash damage, for example the wizard and the bomber, things that do splash damage. Just get rid of anything that does splash damage. Once you have done that, you may proceed to step 4, where you both launch Goblin Barrel, Mirrored, Recloned, and Raged. Your partner brings the clone, you bring the Rage, and that is how you cheese. And of course, step 5, relishing your victory, obviously, because you're going to either get 3 crowns, or you're going to 3 crown. There is no in between. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to cheese with a hog rider instead of just a golem barrel. So step one, uh, the deck's pretty similar, except for the fact that everything else besides the hog, the mirror, and the rage, all your other cards just really have to be defensive cards. So just make sure your other cards are defensive, relatively cheap, cheap helps as well. But yeah, just make sure your cards are defensive. Your other, uh, uh, your friend will bring the heal spell instead of the rage. It, there's no clone, because cl clone's pointless in this. So you bring Heal and Rage as your two spells. Uh, step two, um, I already went over this, and yeah, don't make the same meme twice. Step three, um, so step three, uh, yeah, once both of you guys are at 10 Elixir, placed on the Hog Riders, and uh, hope that those guys suck like those guys did and miss the Rocket and Tornado, because those guys were obviously uncoordinated. So it is able to beat these guys. Uh, the Hog Rider is a little more reliable, and then the goblin barrels as in it will probably win more times but it won't generally always three crown to say except for in this example where it does three crown in one push generally it won't three crown in one push but if a second push maybe a third push generally will finish assuming that you haven't been three crowned already at this point anyways that's all from me uh yeah peace